Oh, you are there already. Okay, so hello, Win Kang. Hello, teacher. Okay, so can you hear me clearly? Yes. Can you see me? Yes, I can see you too. Okay, so I'm very glad to see you again today, Vin Kang. Okay, so how are you today? Um, five, thanks. Okay, what did you do before our class, Vin Kang? Uh, what? What did you do before our class? I just eat my dinner. Ah, you already eat your dinner? Yes. Okay, so what did you eat? Um, eat a uh, fish. Yeah. And rice. Just that. Ah, fish and rice. Okay, so it's good because you eat fish. Do you eat vegetables? Uh, uh yes. Uh, in my soup. Ah, okay. So how about the weather in your city? Is it cloudy day or cold? Uh, it's sunny. Ah, today is sunny. Same here in our city, Vincang. In the afternoon, it's very hot because the weather is sunny. Yeah, but now I like the weather because it's a bit cooler. Yeah, and it's cloudy now. Okay, so here, Vin Kang, can you see my screen? Yes, I'm seeing your screen, but not clearly. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, let's just wait. Just like what we do with our previous class, we will wait until 15 minutes. Okay, so are you now ready to continue our lesson? Yes. Okay, so this time we will continue with this slide. Okay, can kindly look at the picture, Vin Kang. These are the useful phrases that we can use when we are describing someone in the picture. We can use at the top, okay? When we say at the top, that means he, right here, okay? Or on the right, on the left, at the bottom, in the middle, in the background, or in the foreground, okay? There, there is some example. Can you please read this one, Vin Kang? Is it clear or not? It's not, but it's big so I can read. Okay, can you please in read? The middle, in the middle where is a woman who might be a teacher looking after the children. Yes. Okay, very good. So in the middle, there is a woman. Okay, so since you are just looking with a picture, you will use assumption. When we say assumption, it might be true or not. Okay, because we don't know what happened in the in that picture. So we just use assumption. It might be a teacher and his, she's looking after the children. Okay, next. In the foreground, we can see two children who are studying. Yes, okay. It's true because there's no other assumption looking at these two children. The two children are studying. So that is correct. Okay, so now, Vin Kang, I'm going to show you a picture and you describe 
the picture. What can you see in the picture? What are they doing? And you use the useful phrase that we just learned from our previous slide. Okay. Before you describe, let's 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 discuss this one first. You need to describe everything that you see in the picture for up to one minute. Okay, you can talk about the scene. Okay, when we say the scene, Vincam, for example, um, they are inside a classroom. They are inside the library and it's very quiet. Okay, so that is an example of a scene or a scenario. Or you can look at the people. What are they wearing? This person is wearing a t-shirt. This girl is wearing a blue skirt. Okay, like that being Kang. And what are they doing? They are studying, just like our previous picture. Example, the, the two children are studying. The teacher is looking after the children. You can say like that. Okay, or you can look at the objects that you can see in the picture. In this picture, I can see two pencils. I can see, okay, for example, you look at this picture. In this picture, I can see the text, describe the picture. I can see the background color, which is red and white. Yeah, that is how you describe the picture and how the people are using them. For example, this one, you see teacher AM holding a phone. Okay, then teacher AM will, will show to you the phone like this. You can describe teacher AM, how am I using this one? Okay, like this, I will scroll and scroll. You can say teacher AM is holding a phone and she is scrolling. Do you understand, Vin Kang? I understand. Okay, so now it's your turn to look at the picture, then you speculate about the picture. We need to speculate when we are not sure of something. Okay, so here, teacher, what is speculate? When we say speculate, that is just assumption. Yeah, when we say assumption, it's either true or not. We just assume or we just we just have an assumption because we don't we are not sure if what are they doing in that picture in reality. We just saw the picture, so we just speculate. Okay, so now Vinkang, we have an example. Kindly look at the picture. Can you see the picture? Yes, but not. Really? Okay. Um, let me take a photo of this one and I'll send this one to you in Zalo so that you can relate Thank what you. teacher. Yeah, so that you can relate what teacher AM is talking about. Wait for a while. Can you access the Zalo Vinkang? Uh, okay. Wait, I didn't send it. I'm sending now. Okay. I didn't see it yet. Ah, yeah, because I haven't sent it because my internet is so loud. Okay, here, yeah. I already sent it. Okay. Did okay, you see? I can see it. Yeah, I can see it now. Okay, let me go back to our slide. Mm, this one, where is it here? 
Okay, kindly look at the picture. What can you see in the picture? This is just a practice, the, Vin Kang. At the foreground, I can see there is a couple. Couple that is studying with a teacher. In the middle, I can see a teacher that looking for everyone doing something. In the background, I can see a lot of group people are talking together to do something. Okay, so very good, Vintang. That is how you describe the picture. Okay, these are the suggested answers. Do it right here. It could be a classroom or a busy library. She looks like a teacher but could be a librarian. So this is just a speculation. They might, we use might because we are not sure, they might be studying for an example or maybe they are studying for an exam. Okay, so now Vin Kang, let's proceed with our next slide. I think I will send it to you also because I'm sure this is not clear. <laughs> okay, let me send this one again in Zalo. Can you see the picture that I sent to you in Zalo Vincang? Uh, not yet. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, sinking. Ah, it's already delivered, Vincang. Uh, okay. Okay, so now these are some useful words or useful language that we can use to give a general introduction. You can say this picture shows people or shows uh, many people. Or you can say in this picture, I can see this is a picture of, okay. Next, how about if we talk about places, Vin Kang? Can you please read? They are driving in the country, in the city, in the mountain. She's sitting inside, outside a cafe. I can see a street market, a building, square, street, restaurant, beach. Okay, how about if we describe people's age? Uh, he's about 15 years old. They are in their 20s. They, they are in their 20s. She's a teenager, in a young child, a middle-aged woman. Okay, very good. How about if we describe people's clothes? Can you please read it also? Uh, She's wearing a pair of shorts and red t-shirt. They are wearing white casual smart clothes. He's wearing a uniform. Okay, thank you for reading that one, Vin Kang. And if we describe people's action, we can say, he is sitting at a desk or she's standing in a queue. Okay, queue, this is queue. They're having a meal and some people are sandbathing and others are swimming in the sea. Okay, so here, Vin Kang, when we describe people's roles in a picture, we can say, the man serving the drinks is a waiter. He's probably a shop assistant and she's a 
customer. Or we can also say this person on the left seems to be a tourist guide. He's pointing to a building. Yeah, because we can, if we see the picture of Vintang, we can say that, ah, this one is a teacher because of their role in the picture. Okay, here, when we describe people's feeling in a picture, you can tell they are enjoying themselves because they are smiling. If the people are smiling, yeah, or he seems a bit frightened, maybe this is the first time he tried this thing, or she looks very interested in this activity, she's concentrating very hard. Yeah, because you need, you need to look at the people's face, you look at people's face, then you can see if they are happy they are sad they are a bit a bit scared yeah because when you look at the people's face you can see their emotions okay and if we paraphrase vin kang when we say paraphrase we use other words to explain the word that we don't know okay for example if you don't know the frying pan you can say this is something you fry food in it. Okay, so that is frying pan. You paraphrase the word frying pan. Next, a vase. If you don't know the, the word vase, you can say it's a kind of container for flowers. Yeah, you describe what is their usage. Next, a wardrobe. It's a cup cupboard for keeping clothes in. Okay, then when we make guesses, Vin Kang, can you please read what are the useful words that we can use if we make a guess? Hello, Vin Kang, are you there? Oh, yes. Ah, yeah, okay. So are you listening to teacher? Yes, I'm listening to you. Okay, very good. So if we make a guess, what are the useful phrases that we can use? Can you please read? Uh, well, internet is not good and um, what did you say? What did you say, Vin Kang? My internet is not good and I can't open the yellow yet. And in, in the picture is very not clear, so. Ah, you mean, is, you mean your internet is good, is not good, or my internet is not good? My internet is not good. Ah. Not okay, I can open the yellow now. Ah, okay. Uh, my guess, it might be summer because some people are wearing sunglasses. It's probably in the country because this picture could be in Northern Europe because of the buildings. Yes. So when you, you when you talk, when you use this phrases, you are making a guess. Okay. How about if we are describing position? In the middle of the picture, there is a group of people, probably tourists, because in the background, there is a church. In the bookshelf next to, near behind, in front of the door. Okay. So when we describe position, Bintang, we use prepositions just like in the middle, in the background, next to, near, behind, or in front of, or... On the top of the mountain, okay, like that, that is describing position. Okay, so how to approach this task? When you talk in sentences, Bin Kang, don't produce list of items that you can see. Then you need to organize your description. You don't describe the same thing more than once. Okay, you need to organize your de description, you can say, he is sitting at a desk, this girl, she is standing in a queue, like that. You don't need to repeat the same sentences more than once because 
it, it that means that you are not being organized. Okay, here, Vintang, you start with a general idea of the subject of the picture before going into details. For example, in this picture, I can see people who are in a library. The man standing next to the door is wearing a purple skirt. Yeah, like that. Can you follow? Uh, what? And you just like in my uh, iPad that you talk that is so loud that I can hear it clearly because my internet is low, very low. Ah, okay. Am I, am I, what do we call that one? Am I choppy? Am I choppy when I talk? Can you hear me clearly, Vin Kang? Uh, I can hear, but not clearly. Ah, okay. Would that be okay for you if I will just louder my voice so that you can hear me clearly? Uh, okay, I can hear you clearly now. Okay. Am I talking too fast or just normal? Uh, just normal. Okay, so here, Vin Kang, when we give reasons, okay, you give reason that is related to the picture. For example, they are driving in the country side I, because I can see trees. You cannot see they are drive. You cannot say they are driving in a countryside because I can see building. Okay, that is not related to the picture unless if you see a building. Okay. Next, you talk about the situation as well as the physical things you can see in the picture and you give some personal reaction to the picture. Okay, so you can say, in my opinion, this picture is taken in Northern Europe or during rainy season because the uh, people are wearing jackets and they are feeling cold. Okay, so now, Vin Kang, it's your turn to describe the picture. Are you now ready? Yes. Okay, so what can you see in this picture? Uh. In the front row, I can see his daughter uh, is studying with her dad. Uh, at the background, I can see a mom are talking with someone, and I can see a boy that is playing playing his computer in the kitchen. Okay, very good. So where do you think are they? What? Where are they, Vintang? Are they in a living room? Are they in a bedroom? They're in the kitchen. Yes, they are in the kitchen. Very good. How many people can you see in the picture? I can see four people in the picture. Okay, very good, Vin Kang. So now, here, this is just a suggested answer. Wait, 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 this one. Okay, this picture, we can say, this picture is a family. In the foreground, the father is helping his daughter with her study. In the background, the mother is talking on the phone with someone. The little boy is playing with his toy or a mobile phone and they are in the kitchen. Okay. So when you describe the picture, Vin Kang, you did a great job. So I was amazed with your answer. Okay, let's proceed with picture two. Can you please describe this picture, Vin, Vin Kang? I can see a group of girls is studying 
in the bedroom. I think they study, uh, do homework together. Yeah. Okay. So is that is that your is that is that all your answers? Yes. Okay. So where are they, Vintang? They are in the bedroom. Okay, very good. We can say in this picture, I can see four girls or four friends. They are on the bed. They are learning and helping each other with the study. And they are inside the room. Okay, so now, Vincang, let's proceed with picture th three. Can you please describe picture number three? I can see a girl that's studying a place that I think that is library. Uh, at the background, I can see someone is studying in this place too. Okay, very good, Vincang. Here. In the foreground, we can see a girl who is looking out the window. In the background, the other students are learning inside the library, and I can see bookshelves and desks. Okay, so here let's proceed with our part four. Let's talk about the one's likes and dislikes. Okay, so I'm expecting you to express your opinions and to talk about the things that you like and the things that you don't like. Okay, let's start. Okay, what are the things that you like, Vinta? Mm. For me, I like it in comics and books. And, uh, I like playing football and games. I very like swimming. But I don't like that is being always here. Uh, I don't like the and I don't like uh and I don't like the badminton because I think it's very hard. Ah okay. So here Vin Kang, what is your opinion in the third picture? This one. I will show this one again to you. Here, what is your opinion in the third picture? What what you mean? Okay, what do you think of the third picture? Just say I anything. Think, I think this girl go in library to have some information to do homework. Uh, oh. she just go to library because of silence. Okay, very good, Vin Kang. I like your answer. You are so smart. Okay, let's talk together about where you like to study and say if you like studying with other people. Okay, here, do you like to study inside the library? Uh, no, because I think it's a, in the library that it's too silent and if you make some noise, you feel very embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, especially if it's only you who make noise inside the library and the librarian will 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 see you like this yeah and they will roll their eyes to you okay here do you like studying with your friends uh, yes i was studying with the friend because they can help me to when i uh, when i was difficult in some homework 
Yes, okay. Me too, Vin Kang. When I was a student, I like studying with my friends, especially the subject math, because I can copy their answers. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes if I know how to solve that um, given problem, I will try my best to answer that one. I will not depend on my classmate. But most of the time, especially the subject math, I always copy the answer of my classmate. So don't be like teacher AM. <laughs> okay, so here, Bin Kang, are you using computer when you study? Uh, sometimes. I sometimes I use the computer in the study because... I really don't need it in study. I just use it when I need I, when I need the information. Okay, so very good. Do you always bring a laptop when you go to your school, Vin Kang? Uh, no, because my school don't allow any catches. Oh, that's nice. I like it because your school is strict when it comes to gadgets. Yeah, because nowadays, teenagers are fond of using gadgets. Even when you are talking with them, they are holding their tablets, um, iPads, or even cell phones. They will talk to you while using their, their cell phone. And it's a bit disrespectful especially if you are in class and your student is using their cell phone so i i respect your school because they are so strict about the impl implementation of not using the gadget while in school okay so Let's talk about the things that you don't like to study. What are the things that you don't like to study, Vin Kang? What subject? I don't like it. Yes? I don't like English because English, the, like, there is a lot of information and I can't remember it all. So I don't like it. Can you please repeat your answer, Vin Kang? I don't like English because uh, in English that is has a lot of information to study and I can't remember it all. Ah, yes. Okay, you know, it's okay if you can't remember all the information about English. Okay, what is important is you know how to speak English, you know the vocabulary, and you know the words, your pronunciations are good, and you can answer, answer directly if someone will talk to you in English. Yeah, that is not a big deal if, there, if English has many, have many information. Yes. Okay. So I have a question for you, Vin Kang. Why do you study English? Uh, because I'm interested in it. <laughs> yes. Okay. So it's an interesting subject. Why? What part of English that it makes you interested? That is vocabulary. Oh, wow. I like that one, Vinka. Okay. Oh, it's the end of our speaking skills. Okay, wait for a while, Vinkang. I will open your new book because we are done and we still have lots of time. Okay, so do you when is the pet holiday in Vietnam, Vin Kang? When uh, when is the pet holiday? Yeah. Uh, it uh, the last day of the January. Ah, you mean January thirty one? Yeah. How about New Year's Day? New Year. When is new the New Year? New Year, they just 
celebrate it on the first day of January, like the others. Ah, okay. I'm very confused about New Year and Pet Holiday. Are they the same in Vietnam? Uh, not because in my country, they use two kinds of calendar. Same holiday that use the calendar, they use the day of the moon. And at New Year, they use the day of the sun. So they are different days. Oh, I see. Okay. So, <laughs> you know, Vin Kang, uh, I think uh, from January 31, I asked most of my students, did you celebrate Pet Holiday? Then <laughs> only to find out that Pet Holiday is celebrated in Vietnam after Jan after the last day of January. So I was so embarrassed with myself. Yeah, it's so it's good that you share to me <laughs> when is pet holiday? When is the pet holiday in Vietnam? <laughs> okay, so that is another lesson for teacher AM. Okay, wait for a while. Let me check your DLP first. Mm, we are now in test four speaking. Test four speaking. Ah, okay. Test one listening. Test one, test four, test one. Pet two, test one. Okay, here. Chơi bác thì không có lên gì Okay, so before I forgot Vin Kang Next class, I think that is Saturday On Saturday, please get ready with our regular test Okay because on Saturday, we will have our regular test that will cover from test one until test four. Oh, no, no, no. Only, I think that is pet one. Yeah. Okay. And I'm hoping that you will get a high score for that. Thanks. Okay. Your book is ready now. Let me share my screen. This one. Okay, can you see my screen now, Vin Kang? Yes, I can see your screen now. Okay, so this time we will proceed with our next unit or next lesson for pet. This is test one, listening. Okay. Let's start with our vocabulary, which is the thing, which is part of English that makes you interested. Okay, I want you to repeat after teacher, you say entrance. Entrance. Okay, this is the picture of entrance. What is entrance, Vin Kang? Is the door that you go to come inside the house uh, buildings. Okay, very good. That is correct. Okay, next, how about kiosk? Yes. Okay, I will show you a picture of a kiosk. This is a kiosk. This one, Vin Kang. What is a kiosk? Oh. I don't know the meaning of the kiosk. Okay, so when we say kiosk, kindly look at the picture. It is a small store in a building or on the street where things such as newspapers, candy, milk teas are sold. Just like this, Blitz Pearl Shake. This is a kiosk that sells pearl shake or shakes. Okay. It is a small store 
inside the building or inside the mall or inside our canteen, school canteen, that we can see that sells candies, hot dogs, burgers, just like that. Okay, next you say washing up. Uh, what what washing up washing up okay kindly look at the picture what is she doing she uh, she are washing dishes yes do you know how to wash dishes vin kang uh, yes i know okay do you wash dishes after you eat uh, yes i'm always do that Oh, very good. It's good to hear that my student is washing his plate after he ate. Okay, keep doing that one, Vin Kang, because it will make your mom happy. Okay, next you say cliff. Cliff. Yes, what is a cliff, Vin Kang? Do you know this one? A cliff that is... Uh, uh, like, uh, here in the mountain, yeah. No. What did you say? Mm, uh, I don't I, I know what it means, but I don't know how to say it. Ah, uh, yes, I understand you, Vintang. When we say a cliff, that means a high, steep surface of rock earth or ice or we can also describe cliff as a mountain this means very steep when you climb it's very steep and it's very high do you do you do you do, you, do i make sense yes okay next you say oh i think this is the last Ah, this one. This is a picture of a cliff. Very high or very steep to climb. Can you see Vin Kang? Uh, yes. Okay. I can see it. Do you have any question to me? No, I don't have any question to you. Okay, very good. So now, let's proceed with our part one. This is questions one to seven. For each question, Vin Kang, there are three pictures and a short recording. You're going to choose the correct picture and put a tick in the box below. Okay, let me show you the picture. This one, this is an example. How did the woman get to work? So you listen to the short recording. This is the Cambridge Preliminary English Test. Test two. What? There are four. Can you say it again? Okay, so this is just an example. And you listen to the answer for this example. Okay. Okay. Four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. For each part of the test, there will be time for you to look through the questions and time for you to check your answers. Write your answers on the question paper. You will have six minutes at the end of the test to copy your answers onto the answer sheet. The recording will now be stopped. Please ask any questions now, because you must not speak during the test. Now open your question paper and look at part one. There are seven questions in this part. Decide whether to walk or... Choose the correct picture and put a tick in the box below it. Before we start, here is an example. How did the woman get to work? Oh, I'm so sorry I'm late. I missed the bus. I was trying to decide whether to walk or go back and get my bike 
when I saw my neighbour. Luckily, he offered me a lift because he works near here. Okay, so now, Vin Kang, did you listen to the example? How did the woman get to work? Is it A, B, or C? So that is letter A because her neighbor gave her a lift. Can you follow? Yes. Uh... Okay, so are you now ready to proceed with numbers one to seven? Yes. Okay, let okay. me forward this one here. Okay, you got three points. Very good. Okay, now let's proceed to the... Now listen again. Can you guess this job? Good afternoon. Can you show me your office chairs? I'm looking for something with a high back and arms. What is the job of this person? Oh, wait, 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 here. Okay. Where? By the entrance? No, at the... Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear each recording twice. One. Where will the girls meet? Will you meet me in the park? Okay. Where? By the entrance? No, at the ice cream kiosk. You know, the one by the lake. Okay. Now listen again. Will you meet me in the park? Okay. Where? By the entrance? No, at the ice cream kiosk. You know, the one by the lake. Okay. Two. Which chair does the man want? Good afternoon. Can you show me your office chairs? I'm looking for something with a high back and arms. Now listen again. Good afternoon. Can you show me your office chairs? I'm looking for something with a high back and arms. Three, which picture shows what the girls need? Now, have we got everything? Flour, butter, a lemon, milk. Don't we need eggs? Of course, two eggs. Now listen again. Now, have we got everything? Flour, butter, a lemon, milk. Don't we need eggs? Of course, two eggs. Four. Which picture shows what happened? Look at that mirror. How did it get broken? We were playing ball and I missed it. I've told you before you are not to play ball in the house. Well, you will both have to buy a new mirror. Now listen again. Look at that mirror. How did it get broken? We were playing ball and I missed it. I've told you before you are not to play ball in the house. Well, you will both have to buy a new mirror. Five. What is Sarah's mother doing? When can we go out, Mum? In about half an hour, Sarah, when I've finished doing the washing up. Now listen again. When can we go out, Mum? In about half an hour, Sarah, when I've finished doing the washing up. Six. What luggage is the man taking on holiday? I thought you were only taking two suitcases on holiday with you. Well, I was, but I decided to take my overnight bag as well. I couldn't get everything into two cases, and there's no way I could carry a third.
Now listen again. I thought you were only taking two suitcases on holiday with you. Well, I was, but I decided to take my overnight bag as well. I couldn't get everything into two cases, and there's no way I could carry a third. Seven. Which photograph does the man like? I'm really disappointed with my holiday photos. The only good one is the one of us all standing together on the cliff top, looking down at the beach. Now listen again. I'm really disappointed with my holiday photos. The only good one is the one of us all standing together on the cliff top, looking down at the beach. That is the end of part one. Okay, so now, Vin Kang, are you ready to check your answers? Yes, I am ready. Okay, for number one, where will the girls meet? That is letter C. Very good. Number two, which chair does the man want? That's letter A. Okay. Number three, which pictures shows what the girls need? It's letter A. Two eggs, one milk, and this one. Okay, and also a picture. For number four, which picture shows what happened? It's letter B. Very good, Vin Kang. How about number five? What is Sarah's doing? Letter C. Number six, what luggage is the man taking on holiday? That's letter A. Great job. For number seven, which photograph does the man like? Okay, that's letter C. Okay, so for this one, Vin Kang, that is a good score for you. Five out of seven. That is... Great job. Okay. Here, can you see my screen clearly or not? I can see your screen clearly. Is it clear now? Yes, it's clear now. Okay, very good. I'm very happy to hear that one. So now, Vin Kang, can you please read this? Uh. Okay. One, where will the girls meet? Go one. We will I meet you. Uh, will you meet in me in the park? Okay. Where? By the entrance? No, at the ice cream kiosk. You know, the one by the lake. Okay. Two, which chair does the man want? Good afternoon. Can you show me your office chair? I'm looking for something with a high back and arms. Three, which picture shows that girls need? Now, have you got everything? Flour, butter, a lemon, milk. Don't we need eggs? Of course. Two X. Four. Which picture sh shows what happened? Look at the mirror. How did it get broken? We were playing ball and I missed it. I've told you before you are not to play ball in the house. Well, you will both have to buy a new mirror. Five. What is Sarah? Mother's doing. When can we go out, Mum? In about half an hour, Sarah. When I've finished doing washing up. Six. What luggage is the man taking on holiday? I thought you would only take two suitcases on a holiday with you. Well, I was, but I decided to take my overnight bag as well. I couldn't get everything into two cases, and there's no way I could carry a third. Seven, which photograph does the man like? 
I'm really disappointed with my holiday photos. The only good one is the one of us all standing together on the cliff top looking down at the beach. Okay, very good, Vin Kang. Thank you for reading numbers one to seven. So far, I can see that all your pronunciations are good. I didn't spot any mispronounced word. And you are a great reader. Keep it up, Vin Kang. Okay, and for your speaking, speaking skills, I appreciate that you can describe the words and you can and you improve now in your grammar. Yeah, I didn't hear grammatical error when I asked you question. Okay, so before we end, since it's already time, do you have any question to me, Vin Kang? No, I don't have any question to you. Okay, so thank you so much for joining our class tonight, Vin Kang. Please don't forget that on Saturday, we will have a regular test, okay? Study and review the recorded class that we have in YouTube. Goodbye, Vintang. Have a good night. Bye, teacher.